everybody, and welcome back to yet again another empowering episode of Pep Talks with Megan De La Concha. That's me, your host. And I wanted to take this time to share um, kind of a check check in of where I am on my journey. I just want to remind everybody out there that, uh, well, first of all, if you could please pause this, if you are watching this on YouTube or really on any listening platform, if you could just take a moment to hit the subscribe button, that would be phenomenal. Please do your girl a solid and subscribe to this channel. You can turn off the notifications so that you're not bombarded every Monday. I mean, why would you? But if you're not a notification type of person, I'm not gonna have any hard feelings over it, but just please click that subscribe button. Second thing I wanted to remind you guys is that the purpose of this podcast and the purpose of me coming on here is to not be at the end quotation marks of a journey and turn around and say, this is how I did this. This is how I made six figures. This is how I got into the house of my dreams or the, you know, the huge career that I want. You know, I'm in the middle of this journey and I want to come on here and be as transparent as possible because I know there are many, many times I hear people talking whether it's a podcast, whether it's a motivational speaker. And to me personally, I feel they're always talking about, you know, I've made it and this is what it used to be. And I want to know the nitty gritty details. I want to know about the failures. I want to know about what you tried, how many times you tried it, how many times it didn't work. And then when it finally stuck, those are the things that I want to know about because Honestly, that's what connects us as humans and not to be, you know, come off as a negative um, aspect, but looking at somebody who is successful or who is trying and seeing that they have fallen just like you and me and gotten back up, that's the motivation. That right there is what sparks the motivation. If we see someone who has just been successful their entire life, I mean, had one relationship, it worked out wonderfully, and they have a beautiful fairy tale marriage, they've never had issues with being broke, they've never had issues in being in toxic relationships, they've always had the best of friends, they travel, their kids are amazing. We can't really relate to them, right? That's like a fake life to us. So I want to be as transparent and as authentic and as genuine as possible. I want you on this journey with me because I am still learning as we go. I know years from now, I'm going to look back at this first episode and be like, oh my God, what was I thinking putting this out? This is horrible. But that's a part of the journey. I want you guys to see the growth because I want you guys to know that it can happen. That if you believe in yourself and you just try and you fail and you get back up and you try it another way, if you just try and take a chance on yourself, it will happen. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a lesson that has been in my life the past few days, and that is a lesson on obedience and patience. So like I said, I'm in the middle of this journey, and that includes uh, me being smack dab in the middle of a 20-week intensive, uh, very immersive business coaching program. That's actually what got me to launch this podcast to this day. During this course, you know, of course, I mean, it it is... um, you know, a lot of content to go through. It's a step-by-step guide on how to get from A to Z, and it encompasses everything you could ever imagine. Truly, it's a phenomenal program. It's called Purpose to Platform, and it's hosted by the one and only Money Maven, Patrice C. Washington, who is also the host of the Redefining Wealth podcast. I highly, highly, highly suggest you add that to your library and pick a day to where you're going to want to binge listen because she is truly, truly an inspiration. But 
During the modules and, and the guides and the steps, in the very beginning, she states, do not skip steps. Now, there are people like me who came into this program with just an idea in their head, but having no way, no idea how to execute this or really even how to get my idea onto a piece of paper to look like a business plan. And then there's people who are in the middle of their business, um, whether it's a solopreneur or a team of people, um, whether they've already launched something and they're looking to scale their business, um, or you know maybe it's just not generating um, the income or the traffic that they want. And so all types, all types of, of amazing, amazing, intelligent women on here. And I am so proud and blessed to be a part of this community. But no matter what, the point is, no matter where you're at in your journey, your business journey, do not skip the steps. So I didn't. I went from step one, step two, step three, step four. I listened to all the modules in um, and how they were in the in the sequence they were supposed to be listened to. I did all the homework when it was due. I focused on everything that I was supposed to be focusing on. So I thought. So when it came time to launch, I obviously launched this podcast. It was great. It was amazing. Yes, it's a lot of hard work. But my focus was on something else. My focus was on developing a program for you guys, um, an empowerment program that facilitates confidence and faith and self-awareness, self-care, and the steps on how to get there. So truth be told, the podcast was kind of something that I was considering a diving board into a deeper pool of all these great programs and products that I was going to be developing and launching after the podcast. While I was focusing on this specific course, every time I tried to go in and do the work, I kept hitting a rock. I kept stumbling over my own two feet. I kept having to go back and refocus. I had to go back and redraft. And I had all of my content laid out there. I've had all my steps laid out there. I had my method. I had my proprietary system. I had it all set up beautifully in my project management system. I was ready to go. I was ready to get this work done. And I just could not get to it. So I scheduled a phone call with one of the ladies who is now a coach and her specialty is to create courses. I thought, you know what? This is probably what I'm missing. She has a knack for hearing your story and your purpose and putting together your method into a course that is sustainable, that will, um, generate revenue, and that will just transform people's lives. So I thought, this is what I need. I need to have a phone call with her to get some more clarity. So sure enough, we had our phone call. And I tell you what, it was between 15 to 30 minutes. Within the first five minutes, she already had an answer for me. And it was Megan, more or less, this isn't it. And I was like, (laughs) excuse me? I'm sorry, come again? Who? New phone, who this? Hmm? And she said, no, 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 no. We need to rewind. And she took my five to six steps and methods and she said, faith is what it is. And I'm like, okay, but faith and what? And she was like, this is the title of your program. And she gave me the title. And this is what you're focusing on. And I was like, no, but what about all the um, other amazing content that I have here that people need to hear, right? And she was like, that's not it. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I said, okay. So we chatted a little bit more and we got off the phone and my heart was so agitated. I mean, it was like burning almost just in my heart area. And it wasn't the acid reflex. (laughs) It wasn't the heartburn. It was pure agitation, not from her, not from what she said. And I'll tell you what it was later. At the time, I didn't know. 
I went into my bathroom and I sat on the floor and I cried and I cried and I cried. And I just said, God, what? <laughs> what she, I want to do, I want to do this. I spent all this time laying this out. I have an amazing system. I know there's purpose behind it. I'm passionate about it. Please do not tell me that this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Because if this isn't it, what is? And see what was happening at the moment, and I didn't realize it, is I was skipping steps. Though my eyes were reading step one, step two, step three, step four, on the weeks that the content came out, though I was doing the work on the weeks that it was due, my mind was skipping ahead. I was riding the wave of exactly what she told us not to do. I was riding the wave of looking around and seeing what everybody else was doing and automatically thought, This is what I need to do too. Neglecting the very fact that I was actually already doing what it was I was supposed to be doing, and that was this podcast. But I didn't look at this podcast as if it were my priority, as if it were my baby, as if it were something I needed to water and grow and nurture. No, 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 no. That was just something to launch. But what I needed to do, I thought, was a course, was this grand, amazing course that I was going to charge premium pricing for. And I'm going to be able to quit my job in the next six months. I was missing the mark because I was skipping ahead. So I took some time off after that um, crying on the bathroom floor moment, as Patrice would say. I took I took time off and I stopped logging into our community just for a little bit. And I posted what I need to, needed to post on Instagram just to stay active um, and to continue to put myself out there as an authority figure and as a thought leader on the content to which I'm speaking of, but I just sat with the Lord because I was just dumbfounded. I was just like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Do I need to start over? Is it worth it? What am I doing? Do I even know? I was so confident coming into this and the weeks, yes, I had moments of confusion and I needed clarity, but the weeks were going by so strong and I was having these amazing aha moments And I felt I was really driving. I was really in the driver's seat making this podcast and and going to be making this course, right? So in my time with the Lord, I even thought about maybe I should just back out of this course and this program and hope that no one notices because I'm really shooketh. My favorite word of the day and age right now. I am shooketh, people. So I knew what I needed to do and I just needed to back off and I just prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I said, God, God, just take it. Just take it. Just take everything. Just, I am just ready to go like a zombie. I'm ready to go in the direction that you want me to go. Just take my shoulders and point me in the direction and I will walk and I will walk in faith. I promise I want to do right by you. I want to do what you want me to do. And in that moment, I realized one thing. That though I thought I was giving everything to God and I thought I was obeying him, I hadn't given it up. If you realize the words I just said 15 seconds ago, I was in the driver's seat. God was in the passenger seat. And I kept telling God, you know, hey, drive, drive, drive. And he's like, I can't. Yo, I'm, I'm literally sitting in the sidecar with my arms folded and my helmet on. Like, I cannot drive. Until you pull over and give me the dang keys, woman. So as much as I thought I was obeying and giving it all up to God, I was still holding on to it. Like I was the one in charge. I was the one going, nope, I need a course. We need a course. And he was, no, 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 it's the podcast. And I was saying, no, 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 it's the course. And he said, no, it's the podcast. 
And I wanted to obey. That's always the intent in my heart. But just because the intention is there, it doesn't mean you were actually doing it, right? So I still wasn't getting it. He was bopping me on the head and I still was not paying attention. I was still skipping steps. Still confused as to why is this course not working out? Maybe I, you know what? Mm -mm, Screw that. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I know what I have is great. Oof. Can you feel the ego? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. Yuck. So as time went on, um, I took walks, I meditated, I prayed. And then I started to do a series in yoga. I try to do it every morning. And I realized one morning as I was sitting there, and I checked to see what um, – it's a 30-day sequence, right? And so I think it was day – I was already into day 12, day 15. And we were still doing um, – like these, I don't know, like 10 minute, 15 minute little sessions. Sometimes it was just practicing a pose or learning about a new pose. Sometimes it was just like a six minute meditation and I was getting frustrated with that. And so many times I wanted to leave the 30 day series and just go off on my own and do what I thought I needed to do. I needed to have this rigorous, 45-minute, calorie-scorching, drenched in sweat, real, you know, huge yoga moment. My arms needed to be shaking. My legs needed to be quivering. And yet again, I sat back and I said, wow, I'm really skipping steps here. I am really not patient enough to obey. Because I realized that those 10-minute sessions, I was learning. That 15-minute learn a pose, learn a new pose, not a drop of sweat, not a muscle quiver, I was learning. In the six-minute meditations, I was learning. To me, they were small and insignificant moments. I needed big, huge moments to feel something. I needed to develop this course to make money, to make a difference. I needed this grandiose thing to happen. I was skipping steps. Because in those little short sessions, It's exactly what I needed for that day. I needed to learn that rabbit pose or the hair pose. I needed to learn camel pose. I needed to have that seven minute focus and clarity meditation. It's what I needed that day because little by little, a little becomes a lot. But I wanted to go from start to a lot. I didn't want to go little by little by little. And the same thing with this course. I was skipping the steps. I wanted to go from week one to week 10. When my obedience lied in what God was trying to show me, which was this podcast, which is Megan Get your voice out there. Just talk. I gave you the gift of gab. And wisdom, if I don't say so myself. (laughs) No, I'm just playing. (laughs) But for real. He gave me the gift to speak to others. That's it. That's it. So what do you do with a gift of being able to speak to others and being able to touch other people. A podcast, hello, duh, it's perfect. That's exactly what it is. It's literally just your voice. It's a platform to talk. He didn't say anything about a course. 
And in one of the steps that this program teaches you is to give the community what they're asking for. Nobody, nobody was asking me for a course. No one ever even mentioned a course, but you know what they were asking me? To talk, to speak to them, to talk with them, to pray over them, give them advice. Megan, I'm really going through it. I need to talk to you. Megan, thank you so much for talking to me. I feel so much better. I was ignoring that step. I was off doing something that nobody said I should be doing. Just like the yoga course. No one said, Megan, nobody said to leave this series and go off and, and try to do these vi other videos that you think that you should be doing. No, this is the discipline. This is the obedience. This is the patience. This is where you take it literally step by step, the little, the big, because usually what seems little is the biggest thing. And those are the lessons that have just been surrounding me the next few days. So trust me, I reeled myself back in real quick and I sat down and I said, okay, first, sorry, sorry, please forgive me. My bad. My bad. Okay. I got it. I got it. What's up? I got it. Let's start over. And God said, the community is what it's about. And during this course, I also took another podcasting course. And there were three steps, y'all. Three. Count them. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Okay? Guess what the first two steps were? The same first two steps that were in my Purpose to Platform. The same two steps that were required for me to start this yoga series. Hmm. Interesting. That's mindset and purpose and then building community. How am I going to build a community if I don't get out on this podcast? God had already put everything in front of me. This podcast to build community so that I actually have a community to ask. What is it that you guys want? That course and the planner and all that stuff, yes, it's still on the table. It's going to come, but it's going to come when God wants it to come. I need to obey first. So are there things that you guys are dealing with or are being confronted with and it seems confusing and you think, well, I, I, I know this is what I want to do. And you're putting all your focus on that and it's exhausting you. And it's a burden at this point. Are you skipping steps? Go back and number one, make sure that God is driving. God is the ultimate controller of your life. God is the highest mountain. God is the ultimate author of your life. He just gave you the pen and the paper. So truly give it up to him. Let him drive. And you will know when you give it to God. You will know when you authentically give it to him. And it does usually come at a place of you're exhausted, you're tired, and you're too confused, and you're fed up with it. Unfortunately, that is when that moment comes. And you say, you know what? Just take it. Take it. Please, just take it. I'm done. Because your ego doesn't stand a chance against God and his desire and his will for you and his purpose for you. So give that to him. Make sure that God is is driving. That is step number one. Can't skip that step. And then obey. Truly search your heart. And once God is in the driver's seat, once he is the one who is guiding you to do what you need to do next, you'll know. And you'll be like, oh yeah. That's what I need to do. And it feels so right. 
the way I was feeling is I was trying to fit a puzzle piece that kind of looked like it belonged into that space, you know, and I was kind of like, hey, if I kind of like bend the corners a little bit, it might fit and it might have a little bit of space between, you know, this piece and the end piece. But if I just shove it in there, it's going to fit. But, you know, you shove it in there and it's kind of like flipping up on the edge or it's kind of bubbling up or it's just it's just awkward. It just is clear. It does not fit. That's how I was feeling. But spending the time with God, truly giving it up to him and going back and not trying to skip ahead and walking in my true purpose and walking in God's glory, the puzzle piece fit perfectly like a glove slid right into that dm i hope you guys get that <laughs> but that was my lesson in obedience this week is i thought yeah i'm giving it to god i'm giving it to god i'm giving it to god but in the meantime i was like i'm driving and i'm putting the gas in and i'm turning the radio on and i'm rolling down the window and i'm navigating the gps i'm doing it all on my own oh no but no 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 i gave it to god oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this this and this and god was like i did not say that to you i did not tell you that you told you that and god just sits back and says all right <laughs> all right my friend, I'm going to drive with you on this journey the whole entire way, but I'll wait. I'll wait because you're skipping steps. Listen to the word that God is giving you. He's giving it to you every single day. But you have to obey and you have to be patient enough To do the work that is meant for you to do. Yes, even the things that you think are small because they all are purposeful things. They all are purposeful steps. There's a method to the madness. There's a reason why they're there. They're not just fillers. They're there for a reason. Listen. Obey. And be patient in the obedience. And that's how you are going to get to your purpose. That's how you are going to walk in the Lord truly and fully in his light. I hope that was a lesson for somebody out there today. It was certainly a lesson for me. It took me way back to stop skipping steps. And I had no excuse. I had the steps right in front of me. And it was the signs were all around me in my yoga practice. In another course I was doing, even my walks. Even in my walks, you guys, real quick before we end, I took a walk uh, with my son and I always go for walks in the evening because it, there's more cloud coverage. It's the sun isn't, you know, in the middle of the sky beaming down on you. And for some reason, I just felt like I needed to take a walk in the morning time. So I did. And in our city, we have a dedicated trail for walkers and bikers. And fortunately, it's right next to uh, outside of our neighborhood. So we got on that trail and on that trail is a church. And it was a Sunday. And because of the pandemic, they've been hosting their services outside. Well, the church lawn backs up to the Pinellas Trail. So we're walking and we're walking. And I hear the preacher speaking in, in the microphone and it's over the speakers. And as soon as I am passing the congregation, I hear these words. I hear, your miracle is right around the corner. The answer you've been looking for is right around the corner. God wants you to persevere, whether it's day one, day 20, day 100. Keep the faith, be patient and obey. And then he said, amen. And he let the congregation go. If I did not burst out in tears, I was like, I, I mean, you can't deny it. That was my lesson. Obey. Don't skip the steps. I hope you all have an amazing, awesome, empowered week. 
please follow me on all my handles that you should find down below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe here on YouTube or on any of your favorite listening um, platforms. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.